Hi, my name is Chelsea Sands. I am an exercise physiologist for Mount Sinai's Cardiac Rehab and Medical Fitness Program. Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy exercise routine you can try for Work It Out Wednesday. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a warm up for about five minutes. We're going to do each warm up for 30 seconds. We just want to warm your muscles up, get your muscles ready to exercise safely and avoid injury. So the first warm up you're going to do is warm up your hips. Your feet are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to put your hands on your hips. You're going to push your hips forward and then you're going to slowly bring your hips back and then you're going to push your hips forward, warm up your hips, the front of your hips, and then you're going to push forward. You're going to do that for 30 seconds and then the next warm up you're going to do is high knees. So you're going to bring your knees up to hip height. You can go as fast or as slow as you would like. You're going to do this for 30 seconds. And then the next warm up you're going to do is for your hamstrings. So you're going to kick your glutes. So bring your foot up as high as you can for 30 seconds, just to warm up the back of your legs. And then the next warm up you're going to do, you're going to bring your feet as wide as you can you're going to warm up your inner thighs. So you're going to lean over to the right, bringing your glutes back, and then you're going to stand up, and then go to the left, and then stand back up. You're going to keep doing this for 30 seconds, and then the next warm up you're going to do, warm up your upper body, big arm circles backwards. So halfway, you can go back, and then the other half of the 30 seconds, you can go forward. And then the last warm up you're going to do is arm swing. So you're just going to swing your arms backwards and forwards. So when you go back, your thumbs are going to be facing the ceiling. And then you're going to rotate which arm is on top each time you go back and forth. So that would be the warm up. And then the workout routine should be about 10 minutes. We're going to be doing each exercise for 45 seconds and then 15 seconds of rest. So we're going to do full body workout, including cardio, strength training, upper body and lower body. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're just going to work your shoulders. We're going to be using no equipment. So we're going to bring your arms to shoulder height. We're just going to circle in one direction, small circles. For halfway through the 45 seconds, you're going to switch directions. So you should be feeling this in your upper shoulder, your deltoid muscle. You should be slight burn but no pain in your shoulders and then the second exercise we're going to do is cardio so we're going to do front kicks so you're going to bring your leg up to hip height extend your knee and then keep switching legs for 45 seconds so this you can do as fast as you can for 45 seconds you can go slow and controlled or you can go fast and if you need to hold on to something you can hold on and just get your heart rate up for these 45 seconds and then the next third exercise we're going to do is for your lower body and your core. So you're going to do feet together. You're going to step out to your right, bend your right knee, arms out straight, and try to twist over to that right side, stand back up with your feet together, and then go to the left. So keep switching, and then twist over to the bent leg, and then come back up straight. So exercise number four, this is another cardio exercise. So you're gonna stand in the middle, feet together. You're going to go side to side for 45 seconds. So you're gonna either step or jump to the side. So step, bring your foot behind, step, bring your foot behind, and then you just pick up the pace as fast as you can go for 45 seconds. So you can swing your arms as you step side to side and try to get your heart rate up for that 45 seconds. And then you have 15 seconds to recover. And then the fifth exercise, another lower body exercise and a hip exercise. You're going to bring your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to squat down, hips go back, stand up nice and straight. And then you're gonna bring your leg out to the side, come back to the center, sit back down, stand up. And then you're gonna switch sides. Try to keep your toe facing forward when you're bringing your hip out to the side, hip abduction, and then go down, nice, slow squat, stand up, and then bring your leg out to the side. You should feel this in the side of your glutes, your hips, 
your lower legs, your quads, your hamstrings. And then the next exercise we're going to do is another cardio exercise. As you can tell, we're going from strength to cardio just to keep your heart rate up and down. So we're going to do side punches. So you're going to bring your hands around your chin. You're going to bring your feet shoulder width apart. And you're going to punch side to side as fast as you can. You're going to be rotating on your back leg opposite. And then you're going to keep rotating, punching as fast as you can. Get that heart rate up. Keep going, breathing. Make sure you're breathing through all these exercises. And then we're on number seven. So number seven is for your sumo squat, your inner thighs. Your feet are gonna be wide, toes pointed four to five degrees out. You're gonna bring your hips down, nice and slow, stand up, and then go up on your toes, work your calves. You're gonna slowly sit back down, make sure your knees are over your toes, stand up, and then stand up on your toes and then slowly go back down, stand up. So do this for 45 seconds, then you rest for the 15. Then you're gonna do some upper body for your triceps. So you're gonna grab anything around you, a chair, your hands are underneath your shoulders, step your feet out. So the further your feet are out, the harder this exercise will be. You can bring your feet in close. You're gonna bend your elbows straight down and come back up. Keep your butt close to the chair, so go down slowly, come all the way up. So you're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Feel this in the back of your arms. And then number nine, so we have two more exercises. It's another cardio exercise. So you're gonna be doing heel taps. So you're going to be having your arms out, shoulder height. You can do this slow, touch your heels, opposite arm and leg. And then to pick this up, you just go as fast as you can. And if you want to make this even harder, you can just jump, do a light jump side to side. And then the last exercise is for your core. So we're going to do some Russian twists standing. So you're going to have your hands chest level, bring your knee up and you're going to twist opposite arm to knee. So your right arm, your left knee twist. So crunch your stomach in, squeeze your core in and keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale for 45 seconds. <clears throat> and then we are done with your workout. So now we have the cool down. So you're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds. So the first cool down stretch we're gonna do is for your shoulder. So you're gonna bring your left arm out straight, bring it across your body, and then your right arm is going to come underneath. Pull your arm towards your chest and hold it for 30 seconds. And then you're just gonna switch arms Hold that for 30 seconds. And then you're gonna stretch your quad muscle. So you can hold on to something near you. You're gonna grab your shoe or your ankle. And you're gonna hold this, bring your knee in line with your other knee. And pull your hips forward. Feel the stretch in your quadriceps. Hold this for 30 seconds and then switch sides. And then the next stretch for your calf. You're gonna bring your right left foot forward and your right foot back is flat on the ground. So you should feel this in your back calf muscle and your foot should be flat the whole time. You're gonna hold this for 30 seconds and then switch legs. The front leg is bent, the back leg is straight. And then stand back up. And then another stretch for your back. So you can bring your arms out, clasp your hands together and you can rotate down and stretch your upper back should feel a nice stretch release right in between your shoulder blades. And then the last stretch, we'll do the hip flexor stretch. So you're going to bring like the calf stretch. Your toe stays up off the ground. You're gonna push your hips forward. And you wanna feel a stretch in your hip flexor in the back leg. And then you wanna switch legs and then push your hips forward. Just feel a stretch in your back leg. And then you are all done with this quick and easy workout for Work It Out Wednesday. Thank you.